what they call a mock-up? A mock-up of the book cover. Liz gave it to me. What do you think? Stace, that's great. So how about it? I mean, you must be counting the days until this thing gets published. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Do you think I'll live? Do you think the book will sell? Destined to be an international bestseller. Oh, poo, that's what you say. You know, I, um, I made a decision today that now I'm not so sure of. I told Liz to use my maiden name, Donovan, on the book cover. So what about it? I'm just wondering if I'm being fair to JJ. Stace, I don't follow you. Well, Rick, using my maiden name just seems like another way of cutting Jack out of our lives completely. Hey, Jim. Jack. Well, I'm glad you came by. You know, I've been so busy down at the shelter, I haven't seen you in a long time. Well, that's exactly why I came over. What? Well, you've been stuck at home so much since you and Shana split up. Why don't you go get your jacket? I think it's about time I showed you some of Corinth's nightlife. Good evening, Soames. Oh, good evening, sir. Where's Ava? Uh, she's resting, sir. Uh, Mr. Clay, hmm. I found this note addressed to you under the kitchen door by the servants' quarters. Under the kitchen door? Yes, sir. How odd. Thank you, Soames. You didn't get back to me, Clay. That wasn't very smart. We never had our meeting. Now it's your turn to figure out what I'm up to. I can promise you one thing. You're not going to like it. May I have my mail, please? Here you are, Mrs. Alden. Excuse me, are you by any chance the Mrs. Gwyneth Alden who used to live in Europe? Well, yes, I am. Oh, I'm so delighted. I have been wanting to meet you for so long. Why, I feel as if we know each other already. Jack, I can't. Look, I'm beat. I I've had a really tough day down at the shelter. Yeah, and you probably spent half of it brooding about what Shane is doing in Reno right now. All right, that's true. I'm having a little trouble getting her off of my mind. Jim, what is the point of fighting so hard for something that you can't win? Shane is not going to change your mind about this. I'm not so sure that's true, Jack. You Look, I could be sitting around moping about Stace, or Stacy and Rick, to be more accurate. But I'm not. It's, it'd be a waste of my time. So I find other things in life to make me happy. Well, I don't think going out every night's the answer either, Jack. It is if you have the right kind of fun. Look, Stacy is not going to take me back. I'd be a fool to think she would. Hope isn't foolish. <sighs> Jim, she's never going to forgive my affair with Lily, so what do I have to hope for? <sighs> so I've made other friends that are very encouraging to me. Well, that's good, Jack, but it's no reason to turn your back on your family. Why not? They turn their back on me. That's all I can do to go over the house and pick up JJ. Rick's always there every time I come over. Apparently he's a overnight guest now, too. Oh, come on, Jack. I find that hard to believe. Well, you better believe it. I saw it myself. I walked in on this cozy little breakfast scene this morning. Well, I'm sure there's some explanation for that. Jim, his hair was wet. He was half-dressed. He'd obviously just come out of the shower. Neither one of them even, even bothered to deny that he'd spent the night. They tried to give me some cock and bull story about his car breaking down, but I know what I saw. Wait, maybe they were telling you the truth. Jim, don't be so naive. I, I'm glad I found out. It made me stop feeling so sorry for myself. Oh, look, I am sorry that this happened, It's all right, Jack, sorry. But... Look, I, I got some friends that uh, hang out at this after-hours club downtown. Come on, what do you say? No, that, that crowd, they're not for me. Oh, Jim, we can handle it. Come on, be a good time. Last chance. No, no, uh, I've got to get up early. I've got a very important meeting down in City Hall about the budget for the shelters. Oh, that's too bad, because I'm feeling lucky tonight. These guys uh, sometimes get up a pretty high-stakes game of cards. Tonight, I feel like playing the win for a change. I'll see you later.
And how do you know me? Well, of course, I recognize your name. We have friends in common. Why, I left Iris, Walton, Connors, and Nice just last week. Oh, I haven't seen Iris in years. How do you know her? <laughs> well, we met a few months ago when I was uh, traveling over there. Uh, Iris was with the usual crowd. Uh, and I suppose Todd was there? He certainly was. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, how are Maria and Rodney? Just fine. <laughs> well, of course. Um, are they on the verge of divorce again? Do you know they have married each other three times? Uh, really? <laughs> I don't think they know when to call it a day. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Oh, I should have introduced myself. Egypt Jones. Egypt? That's a very unusual name. Uh, my mother was quite a traveler. <laughs> well, are you staying here in Corinth Towers, um, Egypt? Oh, I just checked out. I'm looking for something a, a little more permanent here in Corinth, since I plan on staying a few months. I uh, see. Well, I know of some perfectly lovely condominiums over on the east side of Corinth. Mm -hmm. In fact, why don't you use Alden Enterprises Real Estate Placement Division? They're actually quite good. How nice of you, but I couldn't impose. Oh, nonsense now. Any friend of Iris, I'd be more than happy to introduce you to the right people. Well, thank you very much. You know, you are just as nice as Iris said you were. Oh, by the way, Iris said you're working these days with your ex. Is that uh, difficult? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> he does know how to drive me crazy. Ah, uh, so does mine. <laughs> Well, you'll have to excuse me. I've had quite a day. I really need to get upstairs and change. It has been lovely meeting you, Egypt. It's too bad you're checking out. We could chat some more sometime. Oh, well, I am free for dinner. Uh, well, unfortunately, I'm not. I have uh, some files that I have to go over. Well, Iris did say you are always busy. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I have some free time in my schedule tomorrow. Why don't we meet for uh, lunch here, here in the coffee shop, about uh, 12 noon, say? Uh, I'd love to. <laughs> And to them? Yeah. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetheart. I was told you were upstairs resting. Well, yes, but then I got a second wind. Yeah. Look, I'm really sorry that I missed dinner with you. I, the meeting at the bank went on forever. Oh, it's okay. I'm glad you called. I do hate eating alone. Well, I'm not going to make it a habit. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. I want to show you something. I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, I can see why. We're going to keep this pregnancy a secret a little longer, aren't we? Yes, yes, of course. I'm trying, but it's so hard. Well, sweetheart, it's only been a couple of days. And besides, the fact that it's just between you and I makes it that much more special, doesn't it? Yeah. And I love the idea of announcing the latest Alden heir at a fabulous party for the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> and we will, sweetheart. We will soon. This baby is going to draw us closer and closer together. And maybe it might even draw the Alden family together again. What do you think? Well, that's what babies do. Mm, yes. Now, why don't you go on upstairs, and I'll be up in a little bit. I've got to make a few business phone calls. At this hour? I just have to uh, touch base with a couple of the board members and, you know, let them in on what happened at the meeting at the bank. That's all. Shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Okay, we've well, got five. Then I'm coming downstairs, and I'm dragging you up. <laughs> all right, you've got to do it. <laughs> Hi. How was your evening? That's all right. I stopped over at Stacy's house after I left the casino. Oh. Well, how is she? Oh, she's great now that her book's being published. No, I mean personally, how is she? I remember you telling me that your feelings for her were very strong. Uh, she enjoys being with me. I certainly enjoy being with her. Stacy and I are good for each other, Dad. In fact, I invited her and J.J. out for a picnic at Belden's Pond tomorrow. Rick. Are things really that serious between you and Stacy?
Hello. Ooh, only one ringy dingy. I'm impressed. I couldn't meet you. I was stuck in a meeting. Give me a break with the excuses, huh? We meet today. Fine. Fine? Be in the park at 3 o'clock. There's a bench just west of the Alden Memorial. Ooh, meeting me in public. You're so brave. It's a remote area of the park. Not a lot of foot traffic. Be there at exactly 3 o'clock. You better not stand me up again. I'll be there. All right, Egypt. Let's call your bluff. Police department, I'd like to report a crime. I haven't kept you waiting. Uh, I just got here myself. I had the most awful argument with the concierge. Oh, really? They've lost part of my baggage. I'm living out of my travel bag, as you can see. Well, not to worry. The staff here is very good. They'll find it. <laughs> well, that's a relief. <laughs> uh, just coffee for now, thank you. This is the name and the phone number of the executive in charge of the Real Estate Placement Division of Alden Enterprises. He'll put you in touch with some of the nicer places in Corinth. That's very good of you. <laughs> You know, I have been remembering some of the most wonderful times with Iris in Italy. <laughs> One night, we were in the restaurant. Your name came up. Someone mentioned your ex-husband, uh, Clay. Iris said she hadn't seen him in years. Oh, well, no one did, including me. I saw his picture on the cover of Business Life magazine. Very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but the man he was then and the man he is now like two totally different people. Really? Clayton was a prisoner of war in Southeast Asia. He was in a camp with a number of other Americans, and he was the only one who survived. The others? Died, yes. Clayton doesn't like to talk about that time or the experience. Mm. Must have been awful. Well, he was lucky to get out of there. Oh, yes, he was. And then he was in a plane crash, and he needed extensive plastic surgery. In fact, they rebuilt his entire face, practically. Oh, is that what caused the breakup? Oh, no, no, no. Clayton and I had gone our separate ways long before that. Had he been the man then that he is now, I think our marriage may even have had a chance. You know, when he got out of that camp and came home, it is, he's been like a totally different person. He's even become the kind of businessman his family had always hoped he would be. <laughs> Amazing. But I suppose an experience like that could change anybody. Well, tell me about your ex. Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> oh, they all are. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I met you. I don't mean to impose, but you are so interesting and so is your family. Could we get together again sometime? Oh, I don't see why not, I, if I have the time. Oh, good. I was secretly hoping we'd become best friends. Mmm, this was a great idea. Nothing to do but enjoy this beautiful day. Right? Well, you remember that gratitude, Stacy Donovan Forbes? I don't want you showing me up with any of that championship swimming ability in front of JJ. Don't worry about it, I'll give you a head start. Hi, Stacy. Rita Corey, hi, how are you? Okay. This is, um, this is my friend, Rick Alden. Rick, uh, Rita and Corey used to live next door. Corey. Corey just wondered if JJ could come over to our picnic area and play with him for a little while. Oh, sure, I think he'd like that. What do you think? I remember Corey. Say yeah. hi, Corey, how are Great. you? Oh, hi, JJ. Come on, you JJ. I promise I'll bring him back in a little while. Nice meeting you, Rick. Nice meeting you. Bye, Stacy. Bye. <laughs> When J.J. was a little newborn, Cora used to come over and spend hours just waiting for him so he could play with him. Hey, Stace, look. Corey's trying to show J.J. how to play cat. <laughs> he looks so happy. I hope he always is happy. You know, you're a terrific mother, Stace. I was thinking about what you said last night, about how J.J. will resent your independence when he gets old. That might happen. Oh, not a chance. Come on, he'll be proud of it. He'll have a whole career, a whole life. That independence will end up being a gift for him. I guess, when you put it like that. You know, 
You really feel an emptiness in JJ's life. And he thinks you're great. I think he's pretty great, too. How can I ever thank you, Rick? Hey, Stace, why don't we take Corey and JJ out sometime? Maybe the zoo. I think it's good for him to be around other kids. Actually, I was thinking of putting JJ in a play group. You know, Jack, Jack and I um, always want to have a little brother or sister for him. Play group's a great idea. I mean, he's a good kid. He'll adjust to the changes fine. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, what do you say we take those boys for a swim now? Race through the pond. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute! False start. I've got to clean this mess up first, okay? You did it on purpose so I wouldn't beat you, Stay. I did not! <laughs> Rick? I only see Corey on the pier. Rick, I don't see JJ. He's not there. My baby is gone! JJ fell. He fell into the pond. Oh, my God! I'm fine, thanks, Mama. Boy, the house sure is quiet. Yeah, well, Jim and Lily are down at the shelter all the time. I feel like I'm living alone. Oh, another guest who stopped by the mansion yesterday. Egypt Jones. Mama, what happened? I mean, why did she leave? I thought she liked it here. It was always interesting running into her. Well, honey, it was always just supposed to be temporary. Yeah. I know I used to give you a hard time about putting borders in them all, but <laughs> those two were okay. Yeah, well, I'm just as glad to have the house back to normal. Mm -hmm. Egypt could be a real pistol. Yeah, I know. It's one of the things I used to like about her. How's Clay? Fine, I think. Well, what does that mean, you think? Well, I, I don't know. He's, he's always got a lot on his mind, and he's... Always worrying about the family business and all. I mean, whatever it is, not telling me. Well, are you sure it's business? Yeah, of course. Our life is perfect now, Mama. He's just, you know, a little edgy. Well, hey, but Clay is not usually edgy about business. I mean, he just loves all that hurly-burly, doesn't he? <sighs> Mama, why are you asking me all these questions? I told you, everything is fine. Our life is absolutely perfect now. In fact, I am so happy. I think I feel the way that you did years ago. What's the word? Fulfilled, that's it. Yes, I, A.R.S. Scott Alden, am fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, what on earth are you talking about? I'm talking about a baby, Mama. A baby. Clay and I are going to have a baby. <laughs> Okay, let's get down to it. That's what it'll cost to keep my lip zipped. <laughs> Two thousand dollars a week, huh? What? Company car, credit card to Burnell's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Egypt, you've lost what little mind you had. I'm not giving you one damn dime. Fine. I'll just tell the world you're Mr. Alex Masters. You'll be dropped like a hot potato by the whole Alden family. <laughs> just think what it'll do to poor Ava. You'll both be laughing stocks all over Corinth, all over the country. You pull a plug on me, and you'll go down with me. If you want anything from me, Egypt, you're going to keep your mouth shut. I'm calling the shots now. I'll decide what you get and when you get it. Oh, yeah? I'm not giving you one nickel until I'm sure it can't be traced. So put a sock in it and wait till I get a hold of you.
You Egypt Jones? I don't know. Who wants to know? Officer Glenn Stevens. Car at the police. I... I've got a warrant for your arrest. Issued by the federal marshal. Topeka, Kansas. Oh, well, uh... You'll have to come with me, miss. But, uh, you can't do this. I'm no crook. I'm, I mean, there must be some kind of mistake here. See, I talked to a lawyer earlier. Tomorrow, Harry fears for the safety of an elderly witness to a shooting on Hooperman. Then, following the Slap Maxwell story, an out-of-town visitor turns life upside down for Spencer and Hawk on Spencer for Hire. Tomorrow, all starting at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. Erica and Natalie batted out in the courtroom. Stay tuned for All My Children next.